What's going on, guys? Well, this is just kind of an open discussion about this uh, topic that's in the news, and this video is going to be about um, Rachel Dolezal, I believe is how you pronounce her name, and she is now an ex uh, leader in the uh, NAACP, which is the National Association for the Advancement of Color People. It is a black civil rights organization. And basically, if you haven't been following the news, because this is the latest thing in news, for a while it was it was Bruce Jenner, um, you know, all about that, and then uh, now it's this. And there's got to always be something, right? No matter how important or unimportant, whether it's, uh, you know, political news or, you know, um, international news or entertainment, like in the Bruce Jenner case, it was more of an entertainment news thing that, that blew up, and that's what we heard about in the news for, for weeks on end. Um, but this is the new thing. If you don't know what this is or what the story is about, basically this woman was heavily involved with a black civil rights organization, and she's white. Um, she's not black. And people took offense to that, <laughs> obviously. Um, and the whole debate here is that uh, she's she's claiming that even though she was born white with white parents and she was very a very extra white girl growing up, um, she uh, identifies as being black and that that's the the big topic here is the idea of being transracial you know obviously with the bruce jenner thing you know that's that's nothing new being transgender uh, a man growing up in a, a man's body and and feeling like they really were a woman and wanting to change that and vice versa women who who get older and as adults they they think to themselves well i always felt like a man i should you know have surgery and make myself a man um, whether you agree with that or not, I think that's something that's, um, you know, becoming widely accepted in America by a lot of people, a lot of people. And, and again, there's whole organizations and communities that, um, you know, push for stuff like this. If, you know, be who you want to be and, and I'm cool with that. Whatever makes someone happy, as long as it's not hurting other people, whatever. Uh, I, I don't really take offense to it, but the idea of a man wanting to become a woman officially because they always felt like they're a woman inside is very different uh in my opinion than a a white person who felt like they've always always been black i think she has two black boys two black children uh, she grew up um raising black kids um so she feels she's black she's been in the black community and and you know living that black culture uh as she puts it i believe and it's just a really really um, interesting topic to talk about uh, that complicates things a lot, you know, like it, just in our society. Um, you know, obviously we, we all have identities, you know, and, and on paper, we all are something like on paper, I am a man. I am a Caucasian man. Um, if I want to go for a job, um, can I put on the paper, check off that I'm Hispanic? No. <laughs> because I'm not. Um, but what if I felt like I always was Hispanic? You know what I mean? Like that's kind of a, it's strange, but when you compare it to being transgendered, like I said, that's very accepted a lot. If you, if you ask someone in your household, Hey, you know what? That man really wants to be a woman. He always felt like he was a woman. Should he be able to be a woman legally on paper? Can they be a woman? And that person might say, yeah, okay. You know, that's, that's how they always felt. And then so be it. But you ask the same question, hey, that well, that that guy um, was a black guy, but he he wants to be a woman, but he doesn't really want to be a black woman. He wants to be a Chinese woman. Is that okay too? You know, then people go, well, wait a minute. You know, it, it's just it's the same, but it's not. It's very different. Um, and this is something that obviously people are going to be on both sides of the fence. You know, that is absolutely stupid. Some people are going to think that's the stupidest thing they've ever heard in their life. Other people are going to start opening up to the idea of like, you know what, if that's how she feels she really is, then that's different. Now, I believe in her specific case, it, her saying or claiming that she always felt black, that might be a defensive thing just because of her particular situation. This is the first time in, in my entire life I've ever heard of someone who felt they were a different race inside. They've related to a different race. Um, like I said, the idea of being transgender is nothing new. There, there's been... Uh, transgender uh, men and women for a very long time. Anyway, just a really, really interesting topic uh, for discussion that the idea of being transgender is more widely accepted every year that passes, especially in America.
Um, it's just becoming like a normal thing. You hear about a man who became a woman and you're like, okay, good for them, you know, or whatever your opinion happens to be on that subject. It, it's accepted in our society. Um, but the idea of being transracial is completely different, completely new. And I'm wondering your guys' opinion on that. Um, you know, when I was going to school, I, I went to school in a predominantly white area. Uh, we probably only had like four or five black kids in my school, like maybe two oriental kids, maybe five or six Spanish kids. It was all white kids in the woods. Okay, very, uh, I don't want to say it was rural, it was um, suburban, but predominantly white. Um, and of course, there were white kids that went to my school that that enjoyed uh, or preferred black culture over, you know, what considered white culture or any other culture for that matter. You know, they liked black culture, the look, uh, the way they talked, um, music they listened to, the whole thing. And it is a little stereotypical to to say, you know, this is black culture or this is white culture. But generally speaking, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's not a racist remark. It's just observations. Um, but that's what they preferred. The, the question isn't, should they be able to do that? I believe you should be able to do whatever you want, listen to whatever music you want, have whatever look you want. But the question is, on paper, those white kids, should they be considered black because they prefer black culture? That's the big question here. She prefers black culture. She has experience in black culture, raising two black children. That's that's her words. Um, you know, on paper, is she black? I mean, she's physically not black. But just like a man, a man who thinks he's a woman, he, he's physically not a woman, but a lot of people out there accept the fact that if he wants to be a woman, he can be just a, just really interesting conversation, uh, to talk about. So post your comments, please keep it civil. That's all I ask. You know, you can have a strong opinion. You can have a great discussion with someone in the comment section, but please don't be, um, you know, blatantly mean to each other. You know, it's not going to get anywhere bickering and arguing, okay? Obviously, we're all going to disagree on this. It's going to be a very uh, heavy discussion on both sides of the fence. So, you know, like I said, keep it civil and, and, you know, post in a sophisticated manner. Get your point across without name calling and everything else. Because once you start throwing names out there, it shows some ignorance and it shows you don't have a good argument. So if you have a good argument or you have a strong opinion on this, you know, think before you, you, you post a comment. I'm guilty of myself of uh, having a different opinion of someone you know, on a video or something, and when I comment, you know, I get frustrated, and I'm like, ah, you know what, you're stupid, but I don't say that, of course, it's a little worse than that, but that's what happens, is that I don't have a good comeback, so I just, I, you know, revert to name calling, and that's totally not cool, and uh, does not, does not help your case, you know, so, anyway, oh, thanks for watching, hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you soon, take care.